I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, Southwest and North will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each hand and decide on the strategic approach for each one. Strategic approach. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. In this game, I'm going to track style and strategy. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the racks. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14, South, West, and North will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at everybody's hand and decide on strategy. Okay, everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. Okay, no multiples. I'm kind of thinking we should play maybe the two, four, six, eight category. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We maybe could use the dragon. There are two hands that use dragons. One is mixed suit. One is one suit. So let's see if we can focus on evens. If we're going to play evens, let's keep the east and west. Because east and west this year goes with evens. So let's say we're going to play with maximum usage evens and adaptive. So we're going to stay flexible and play either evens or east and west with evens. So we're going to do adaptive and maximum usage for east, player one. Let's discard one nine five. Although we could maybe do a year hand. Let's stick with bams and dots. Okay, now we're going to look at south. For South, we have multiples that don't really go together unless we do something knitted five, six, seven. So this would be maybe a six bam, so we could use the dragons. Let's go ahead and do that and play fixed. Pick a hand. So we're going to pick a hand, knitted, five, six, seven, dragon. This would be the second from the bottom under consecutive run. Now we do have a flower and a one, two. Maybe we could play an addition hand. Let's pass those three. So we're going to do fixed and we're going to say this is targeted. We're going to target these multiples here. We'll break this one up and use the most of our multiples. So fixed and targeted on set. Let's see what we can do now for West.
Okay, we have no multiples. We do have wins and we have year tiles. I'm thinking we should play the year category here. We do have all those ones, two, eight, white. We have part of news there. Let's do maximum usage and stay adaptive and just see about playing the year category. So we have adaptive and maximum usage for West. So now let's see what we can do for North. Oh, dots. Okay, no multiples, but we do have one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. I would say this would be, maybe we could even use that dragon. Let's say adaptive and maximum usage, because we've got one, two, three, four. We don't need that. One, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do adaptive and maximum usage. I don't think there's anything in here that we can pick a hand yet, really. So we're gonna start out adaptive and maximum usage. Okay. So for east, two, four, six, eight. That's really what they have the most of. So we're gonna stay in the two, four, six, eight category and we're gonna use two, four, six, eight evens. For south, we picked a hand. We're gonna play five, six, bam, seven dot green, or maybe an addition hand. So we actually picked a hand. And we also are targeting these multiples. For west, we're going to play the year category, so we're gonna stay adaptive and focus on year tiles because that's what we have the most of. For north, we have mostly consecutive run one, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. And we're gonna stay adaptive, category level. So we're just gonna gather one through five, any suit, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to go into the Charleston. So, east passes to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. So we're looking for two, four, six, eight. No keepers. We did get an east though. East and west. We have two fours and two eights. We do have tiles we can pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. Let's see what south got. Ooh, we got a keeper right there. Five, seven. We need six bam here. Let's go ahead and give up on the one, two here. If we get a one, two in dots, we might still be able to play the addition hand, seven, five, 12, but that's a big gap. So let's go ahead and pass those three, because we could still do something consecutive, five, six, seven. So South was playing fixed. We picked a hand, five, six, bam, seven dot green. Let's see what we can do for West. Year tiles, we got one, we got another one. We have news. Okay, we've got news. The news hand for the year is the concealed one. So we don't need this. We do have a pair here, but we have, we need two BAMs and eight BAMs. Let's just hold those. However, I am not gonna pass flower. We'll give up the eight crack we might be able to use the dots instead of the bams. So let's see what happens. Oh, we picked up a three and a four. 
and now we have two sixes. So now we have two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, or one, three, five, one, three. I think probably consecutive run is better. Let's give up the one and focus on two, three, four, two, three, four. two, three, four, we have all the threes. Maybe we could switch to like numbers. Let's give up a five and focus on two, three, four, or like numbers with threes. Use what we have the most of. So now we're going to go across east and west, north and south. Two, four, six, eight. We got an eight, eight crack. We have tiles to pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. Now we have three eights. East and west with eights, maybe. We'll see. Five, seven, and then six bam green. We didn't get a keeper, but we did pick up two multiples, six and one. Now here we could play five, six, seven consecutive run. Since that six bam was a gap, let's switch to consecutive run. So south, we picked a hand, but we changed. We picked a hand, but now we're picking a different hand because we paired up. We're going to target. So we're going to switch from fixed. So I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to put this over it because we're going to switch to adaptive. We're going to adapt. Go with our multiples. And we're going to target those multiples. Let's break those up. Five, six, seven consecutive run Kongs. That would be the fourth hand down. So let's see what we can do here. We were looking for year tiles. We got a two. Two, three, three, four. Oh, we have tiles to pass. We don't need to go any further. We'll just stick with that. We could maybe switch to three, six, nine, but I think the nine is the wrong suit. If we had three, six in dots and then six, nine in bams or something like that, I think we're better off sticking with like numbers with threes or consecutive run two, three, four. So we'll pass those. We went across. Now we're going to do first left. So east passes up to north, north to south, south to west, and west, wait, no, north to west, west to south, south to east. We were looking for evens. We did pair up and we got a green dragon. East and west with eights or two, four, six, eight. If these were cracks, we could really use those. Let's give it up. We are much stronger with mixed suits. We picked up a multiple a greater multiple, a pung. And we have tiles we can pass. Okay, we got a one. I don't know though, let's see. We, we really should be building around this news. That's a complete block. News. Let's pass those. We still have flexibility with dots. 
Oh, we picked up a three. Like numbers with threes. We could use these as joker bait. Like numbers with threes and joker bait. We could pass those. Okay. We're adaptive maximum usage here. So we've got two multiples there in threes. And we do have a two, three. If we get a two dot and a flower, maybe we could do the pung concealed hand under consecutive run. We're going into second left, east up to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. No keeper. No keepers. Five, six, seven in dots is what we really want. We can pass those. No keepers. We got a green. We got matching tiles here. Threes with dragons. Like numbers. This would be the concealed hand under like numbers. Let's pass those. Although we could do one, two, three, four, and use these as joker bait. We're going into last right. Two, four, six, seven versus one, two, three, four, five, six. This is stronger. Use this as joker bait. Okay. I think I would stick with like numbers. So we're going now into, oh, we're on second across. We can't pass blind. So east and west pass. And then north and south. We got a four, our first number tile multiple there. And we have tiles we can pass, so we don't have to really pick a hand yet. We're in between evens category and east and west with eights. And they're playing adaptive maximum usage, which we're sticking to that pretty well. Okay, five, six, seven. Even though we picked a hand, we switched because of the multiples and picked a different hand. So it's kind of a combination. Oh, look at that. We got a one, a three and a nine. We really have gaps here though. We need a two band and an eight band pretty badly. No keepers there. So that was second across. Now we're gonna do last right east to south, south to west. Now, news, I think we can pass fully and pass these three. Okay, here we go. We got a keeper, a six. So we just keep all the evens we can. We still don't have to pick a hand. We do have discards. East and west with eights. Or we could give up on east and west and pass fully. Let's go ahead and do that and focus on two, four, six, eight. We don't know what hand yet. We're just gonna gather until it's clear which is the best choice. We got a keeper, a five dot. This hand is actually set. We can Kong, Kong, Kong. We have two tiles to pass for optional cross. Let's see what we have here. Oh, wow, look at that. A Kong of ones. We have tiles we can pass. And we picked up a three. We can do a full pass there for optional cross. Everybody's ready.
east and west full pass north and south they want two oh we got a four and a two we have discards including joker bait we don't have to pick a hand yet we're just going to stay at the category level and gather every two four six eight until we run out of discards and then we'll pick a hand that's the adaptive style no keeper but we're set here we got three discards we picked up a multiple a west if we had jokers i would play a quint here we do have some like number potential right here let's just discard that nine and see what happens for west we are staying adaptive and really a year hand is what looked good right now this kong we're kind of in between wins and ones let's see what happens we got a green okay like numbers with threes and we have joker bait we're done with the charleston now we're going to go into the pick and discard phase of the game let's start by discarding the five crack and draw we picked up joker bait we're going to hold that as long as we can one dot maybe we'll get a joker out of it who knows let's draw we got a one let's discard the nine bam and nobody wants it so that's probably not going to be good joker bait it's a little early in the game to know for sure there's a four it's consecutive and there's a slight chance of a switch so we'll keep it and let's discard the seven crack now we're going to draw for east oh flower that's kind of helpful let's get rid of the east and nobody's playing wins we're going to draw let's keep the joker bait maybe we can use it later maybe let's get rid of the green dragon this is concealed so we're going to draw flower we got two flowers now two flowers with news i think we should give up on the year or we could play like numbers with ones and give up on these or switch to a quint if we can get jokers but that's kind of a long shot i think i think I would give up on the wins and focus on ones let's throw the west we can leave our options open we still have news let's draw four north joker we'll discard this four crack drawing for east five bam let's get rid of the east and we're going to draw for south two crack there's a four crack out though let's throw that and we can draw for west five crack drawing for north joker we could use that here or here we're going to get rid of the two bam see if anybody takes it with that joker bait the idea is that you coax it from somebody if they take it with a joker you can use this one to take the joker on your next turn in this case nobody's ready for it we're in two four six eight but we can't take it we have no leverage seven crack that's already out let's draw 
8 dot. That's consecutive. 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's discard this 2 crack and draw. 7, bam. Drawing for north. Wow, look at that. They're ready to win on a 3, bam. There's ready to win on a 3, bam. We're going to throw the 2. And that's in 1, 2, 3, 4 discards. Adaptive maximum usage. Let's draw. 5 crack. Drawing for south. South. Oh, white. Look at that. I'm thinking like numbers with ones and the dragon. Let's go ahead and focus on that and discard the winds. South. Let's draw. North. West. Nobody wants the winds. Eight, bam. Nine crack. Last tile in the second wall. Flower. Discard. And nobody wants the flower right now anyway. I would not play like numbers with six flowers here. I would probably play like numbers with the dragon and then also give myself flexibility for the year category. So going into the middle game, third wall, everybody should know what category they're in. Here we're doing evens. Here we're doing consecutive run. Here we're doing like numbers and here we're doing like numbers. Ready to win. Probably five away three away, way far away. Drawing for east. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, eight crack. All right, maybe they could play the pair hand. Let's discard this five, bam. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight with eights. We can still hold off, just gather, see what happens. Five, bam, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Six, bam, that's what they were hoping for early on. Didn't come in though. They had a gap. Let's draw. Seven, bam. Drawing for north. Five dot. Okay, five dot would be Kong. Four, south. Let's throw the eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. White. Okay, we should definitely focus on like numbers with ones. That would be the first like number hand under like numbers. Let's throw away the wins. Those are unwanted tiles. And we can draw south. One crack. They're not ready. Two bam, not ready. Drawing here. East, drawing for north, west. Drawing for east, nine dot. We're gonna draw four south, joker, okay. We're going to discard the nine, bam. 
They're one away from ready here. Let's draw eight bam. They're not ready down here. We're going to draw mahjong. Self picked like numbers. So north one, they played adaptive maximum usage. They paired up with the multiples and switched from consecutive run to like numbers, which is actually common. Like numbers and consecutive run are what I call tandem categories. If you're in one, you can flex to another pretty easily depending on how the drawing goes. So, north was our winner. That was a relatively quick game. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight discards. Eight discards. That's pretty quick. They played adaptive style with maximum usage. And it paid off. Over time, I'm going to track the results. And we'll see which style and strategy prevails. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Solitaire Plus for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.